Eight hundred values for New Year for human being. Love and sexual love. Three hundred thirty-nine. Love is the precious gift bestowed to mankind by the greatest Creator. During life, we should fully enjoy the life of love. Three hundred forty. People with richer life of love have better heart, gentler character, and calmer temper. They are closer to the greatest Creator. Have greater love for life, life, nature, and other people. People with poorer life of love have uglier heart, cruel character, and the worst temper. They are further away from the greatest Creator. Have little love for life, life, nature, and other people. Three hundred forty-one. The depth of man's love for woman depends on the degree of freedom the woman has offered the man. The more freedom the woman gives the man, the deeper the man will love her. While the less freedom the woman gives the man, the deeper the man will hate her. Don't try various means to control the man, but try your best to improve yourself. Three hundred forty-two. Man is handsome for his masculinity, and woman is beautiful for her femininity. Man with too much femininity is ugly, and woman with too much masculinity is ugly. Three hundred forty-three. The lower the level of life, the more the lack of love. What is hell? The place devoid of love is hell. The higher of the level of life, the richer the love will be. What is heaven? The place full of love is the heaven. People without love cannot go to the heaven. Thousand year world, ten thousand year world, and in this world, they can only go to hell to live a life devoid of love. Three hundred forty-four. Control the extent of love. Love should develop among people that karma has brought them together. Love will follow with nature and opportunity. When you feel the love, you will show it in your mind. When you feel the love go away, your heart will be devoid of it. You will not be obsessed and infatuated. You don't intend to claim it as your own, and you don't occupy it with force. You will let love carry on if both of you can feel the love. If you are not in step with each other, you will not impose it on the other party. The extent of love should so as to make both parties happy and pleasant. Three hundred forty-five. The more energy love releases, the more energy love will have. Love is the inner gladness and unselfish devotion with no conditions attached. Love is sacrifice of oneself for the other people. Love is to give sufficient freedom to the one you love. Love is without selfish desire, complaint, and resentment. Love is a top grade enjoyment of spirit and soul. Love is unselfish devotion without any preconditions. Three hundred forty-six. As long as both parties are pleased with each other, you can do whatever you think is appropriate. Life is short, so have a dance with tango, even on the brink of death. Only life of such a kind will be devoid of regret. Only such a kind of life would be beautiful. Three hundred forty-seven. If you have one hundred lovers, you cannot help becoming a super celestial being. If you cannot become a super celestial being, you will have no capability to own one hundred lovers. If you are doubtful, just have a try. Three hundred forty-eight. One of the win-win techniques is to release one's energy of love. The more energy of love is released, the more energy you will get. The more conservative and selfish you are, the more impossible it will be for you to preserve the energy of love. What's even worse, you will lose a lot of your energy of love. Mutual care, respect, help, and love are the win-win techniques for energy. The effective measure to guard against negative energy is shy away from it, keep a distance from it, and try your best not to come into contact with it. Three hundred forty-nine. Chen Yuan love values have surpassed the traditional love values. Such love is the love of celestials that has sublimed from the traditional love. Those people whose quality of life has not sublimed to the realm of celestials will generally regard Chen Yuan's love values as vulgar relationship between man and woman, and even as the uncontrolled sexual relationship in the animal world. Only those with a better structure of life can gradually experience from Chinese love values the relaxed and happy state of mind resulting from the emancipated soul, unlimited freedom, and complete lack of depression and bondage. 
These values will cause the couple in disharmony to regain love for each other and prompt the couple with conjugal love to love each other more deeply. Three hundred fifty, love can relieve pain and beauty is an even more powerful painkiller. Love plus beauty equals magical painkiller. The power of love is boundless. The power of beauty is even more breathtaking. Love and beauty are the most wonderful secrets that prompt the soul to leave the flesh. Three hundred fifty-one, sex is a resource. Sex is not only material resource but also the resource of spirit and soul. The resource of male sex and female sex, in particular, is the resource more valuable and more significant than food. Such resource has eight major happiness and benefits: one, make people placid and gentle; two, make people satisfied and contented; three, make people love life; four, make people filled with journey and longing for the future; five, guarantee the propagation. Mankind. Six. Make people pleased and happy. Seven. Make people feel gratitude. Eight. Make people enjoy the wonder of extreme pleasure. Three hundred fifty-two. Get out of the whirlpool of sentiment. We are not indifferent. We are not without sensibilities. We are not immersed in sentimentality. Take eating and drinking for example. We need food and water, but we do not view them as the purpose and the significance of life. If during our life we rush about simply for food and water, then there would be no value and significance of being a man. In the same way, if we live for the sole sake of sentiment all through our life, we cannot expect to tramp over hill and dale to reach the realm of freedom. Three hundred fifty-three. Love has its own frequency. Only the loves that share the same frequency can result in the resonance and the sympathetic vibration. Love should be sought with love. A heart without love cannot find love. To obtain love, you must first understand love, then seek and maintain love with love.